Right folks, back with a little beer review. What I have done is I've walked around a shop called Cost Cutters. <coughs> I've still got me cold. I mean, me cold. When I didn't record for four days, um, I, did, I had a cold and uh, it's still lingering on. It's there, it's there, just there. I've got like a phlegmy, filmy thing in my mouth and my throat and yeah, it's not the best. It's just there. And every so often I've got to cough a load of phlegm up. So, yeah. Uh, so anyway, while I was walking around cost cutters, I found these. Now, I am not particularly a fan of Heineken. I think it's shit. Uh, or piss or whatever. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but when something new comes out, I, it does intrigue me. It gets like a little, hmm, I wonder what that's like. I wonder what that's like. I wonder what if I could do anything with that. So anyway, whacked them in the fridge. Um, it's Heineken Silver. Um, Star Brew Heineken Silver Extra Refreshing Taste. Premium quality lager beer. Pure malt lager. Now, we've all drank Heineken. We've all had a sample. We've all had a dibble, a dabble, or whatever it is. We've all been in there, ain't we? Um, I personally can't stick the stuff. I don't think it's that good. I know somebody who loves it. I think they'd probably inject it into the veins if they could. Um, but, ain't that right, Chris? Chris is sitting there nodding now. Um, yeah, I, I'm just, it, I like things that are, are simple, no messing, that kind of thing, but this just doesn't offer, any, well, not this one, so I've not tried this one, but this just doesn't, Heineken just doesn't offer anything to me. It gives a tinny taste, and I think as the years have got on, I think it's got worse. So, there you go. So, I'll pick this up. It's in a box of four. I'll save the cap for Gingy so she can uh, do whatever she's doing with them. I will tip. That's got a stronger smell. I mean, I was just waving the bottle about, and you can actually smell a more beery, hoppy kind of smell. Can you hear that? Bubbles. It smells, it, it, the, these kind of beers, they just smell tinny, kind of, I don't know, they just don't do anything for me. Anyway, we, it's, it's got a good head. And we can't be good head. It's one of the things that I do like is good head. It just smells tinny. It just doesn't. Anyway, let's sup in. It's a 330 milliliter bottle and it's 4% in alcohol. <clears throat> There's no lasting features on this in, in my book. It's just, it's just fucking Heineken to me. <clears throat> it's probably got a <clears throat> stronger taste, but not a lasting one. It's, There's nothing memorable about Heineken. Sorry, Chris. I know you love it, mate, but 
even as even though I'm not a beer snob, it's just I just don't see anything attractive in Heineken. It's I don't know what the silver bit is, because there's nothing there that makes this second in a race, second in a competition, second in the Olympics. Star Brew, unique recipe with Heineken, Heineken A yeast, whatever fucking A yeast is. I mean, what's the pure malt? Heineken Silver is brewed with an ice cold lager, ice cold lagering process at minus one Celsius for an extra refreshing taste and crisp, subtle finish. Brewed by Heineken Brown, br whatever. <sighs> to be fair, I couldn't care for less if you might who throws it at fucking minus ten. It's not it's not that memorable. It's it's just a complete waste of fucking time. Heineken silver because we put it in the freezer. I personally, folks, if you see that, if you see this, I won't be buying this again. <clears throat> I bought it for the review. I don't know how long it's been out. We can't be selling many of it. It's just a. <clears throat> it's packaged well, a bit like my good self. <coughs> <coughs> oh, it leaves. <clears throat> it's nothing special there's better beers out there than this um, it's just got nothing absolutely fucking nothing going for it I just I'm glad I picked it up I'm glad I bought it I'm glad I've reviewed it but I won't be buying it again and if I were you out there people I would not bother with it either as well because there is far better beers out there go and bet Madre Go and get the Madre beer. If you're in Tesco, uh, not Tesco's, if you're in the co-op or wherever, go and get Madre. Uh, Scott reviewed it the other day, and it, I like it. If you get it on the pump, can't be a good pumping and good head, um, you're, in a, you're a winner. It's a no-frills, simple, nice quality lager. This just tastes of fucking tin can. you know what if that were the first beer you ever had as a kid right that could put you off lager in my book my first beers was double diamond my mum used to have double diamond and on a certain night i think it was saturday night or friday night i can't remember um a weekend night she would let me have a can of double diamond and if that were probably my first beer i'd be thinking Phew, i don't want to drink that shit Right, I'm going to leave that other beer for Gingy's boyfriend. Um, let him drink it. I ain't drinking anymore. Um, all right, folks, I'll get you later on the other side of this. Laters. <laughs>